Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a braided and lattice top cherry pie. I'm gonna need two boxes of pie crust. Two packages come in each box, so you'll have four. I only use three though. We're also gonna need butter with a brush to brush it on the edges, pie filling, and a pie pan, of course. We're gonna start with a pie crust, already pre-made. You can make your own if you want. We're gonna slice it into three sections at first, and I always use the middle because they're the longest. Now we're gonna take the remaining pie crust and just set it aside, and then take our three strips that we cut out, and we are going to either, you can start braiding them now, or what I like to do is, as you can see, I fold in both edges to the middle. And once I do that, I roll it with my fingers gently. You don't want to roll too hard. If you roll too hard, you'll make the crust super thin. And you don't want that because then it'll burn. This is probably the most time-consuming part of it all. Once you have this done, it's super easy. The braid just falls into place. Now it's braiding time. Now is where it gets really pretty and exciting because it all comes together and you start to see what it's actually going to look like. And remember guys, this is just all for fun, okay? It does not need to be perfect. And I'm gonna show you that it doesn't need to be perfect on the next braid that we do. This is just the first braid that we do. We also have two others to do in order to go all the way around the top of the crust. Now we're gonna start on our second braid. As you can see, I'm still using the same pie crust that I used before, I just still use the inside so they're still long. I'm gonna do the same thing, take in both edges to the middle, and then I'm gonna roll each one of them. This one, I'm not gonna roll completely. I want you guys to see that you can still make the braid without it being perfect. So I'm just gonna roll it really sloppy for you guys so you guys can see. I've noticed that when I don't roll them as much, the braids are actually, they're bigger and thicker. I like um, a bigger braid. So what you have to do is just make sure that the um, under flap edges are hidden underneath. Take the time now to tidy up any edges that you don't like. Now we have two braids. Now we are going to butter the edges. This is gonna help the braid stick and stay in place. I'm also going to butter it at the end. I'm just wrapping my two braids on it now to see how much more length I need for the third braid. You guys can also, um, if you make your own pie crust, uh, you can just make a super, super long strand and measure it to go all the way around yourself so you don't have to use different sections. I personally like to do uh, separate ones just because it makes it easier on me. But you guys use your own judgment, use your own preference. It's completely up to you. Now we moved on to the third braid and still yet again, I'm doing this one even more sloppily so you can see. And as you can tell, I struggled with this braid just a little bit. But this braid actually turned out to be my favorite. I only took in the edges and folded them just one time instead of bringing in both the edges and it turned out to be a lot wider and the braid looks fuller. I actually like this one the best. I would experiment with braids before you head off to a pie decorating contest. Now it's time for the pie filling. If you don't like cherry, you can definitely use a different kind as well. This does not have to be a cherry pie. You can make blueberry, blackberry, raspberry, any kind of your choice. I personally like cherry the best. And we are also gonna need two cans of pie filling. If I did not specify in the beginning, I am terribly sorry. And now my favorite part, making the lattice top. So we're gonna use a whole pie crust and we're gonna cut about one inch and we are going to use the whole pie crust for this. You are going to need every last single strip of this pie crust to make the lattice top. 
If you don't have enough strips to make your lattice top, you can also use the scrap pieces from the other pie crusts that we've used. Okay guys, so bear with me for this first part. The lattice top was already started. My poor camera did not record it. The beginning part of your lattice top is going to look like a plus. You're going to lay one strip across and then you're going to lay the other strip across at a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to alternate horizontal and vertical strips, weaving them in an over and under pattern. If it looks tricky now, don't worry guys, because I'm going to make a whole new video just dedicated to this beautiful weaved lattice top. So don't get discouraged, okay? It is really not that hard after you figure out how to do it, which strips to flip. And as you can see, right here, I'm flipping up every other one and then place my piece down and then flip those pieces back over it so you can see the weave. If it does not look like this, you flipped the wrong ones up. Be sure to save the shortest strips for the edges of the lattice. And we're getting to that part right about now. It slowly but surely comes together and it turns out really awesome in the end. I absolutely love the way these look. I also forgot to add in the beginning that we are going to need a pair of scissors, so if you don't have those handy in the kitchen, go grab a pair right now. Be sure to wash them before if they're used for crafts or anything else, because now it is time to cut the edges of the pie crust hanging over the pan. And as you can see, it looks so much cleaner, cutting all those loose edges off. Press down the edges lightly that you just cut and clean up any scraps that are laying around. Now we are going to butter our edges. And remember, this is to help and ensure that the braid sticks to our pie crust. You can start anywhere. Just place your braid on, press lightly and start going around. And then you're going to attach the other braid. I like to overlap my connecting braids. If you can manage to braid them together, be my guest. It just takes a little bit of extra time to form the dough together. This part is completely optional. I always like to give a little personal touch. So I'm going to make little leaves. It's not that hard. As you can see, I make kind of a little eye shape or a leaf shape. And I take a line down the middle with my knife and then make little slashes in it. A line down the middle and then little slashes on both sides. Then I'm going to make a bigger one. Those two were kind of small. Slash down the middle and then slashes on both sides. This one you can see a little bit better. Ta-da! Pie crust art at its finest. <laughs> and here it is before we place it in the oven. Place your pie in a preheated oven at 400 degrees, cook for 25 minutes and remove. Place aluminum foil around the edges of the pie to ensure that it doesn't burn. You wanna bake for an additional 15 minutes. Depending on the type of oven you are using, it might cook faster or it might cook slower. So definitely keep an eye on it. I also wanted to show you guys the side of the pie. If you don't cover the edges all the way underneath, they will burn. So just be careful and keep an eye on it. And then you will turn out with this, isn't it beautiful? Brush on some butter, sprinkle on some sugar, and it's ready to eat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe below if you aren't already subscribed. Much love from ours to yours.